Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are going to do an update for my Pan That Palette. And if you are unfamiliar with my Pan That Palette project, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pause. I'm going to send you over here where it is going to be my whole Pan That Palette playlist. It's going to go a little bit more in detail with how I was panning this initially. Um, but a brief synopsis is... I have been panning my ABH subculture palette since October 2020, and I started it in 2020, giving myself a little head start, thinking this is going to be easy. I'm going to finish this in a year. It's going to be fine. Guess who's still kicking in my collection? Her. <laughs> um, so I have been panning my ABH subculture palette since October 2020, and I really truly thought like I was going to get her out within that 2020 time frame even like October 2020 I was like no I'll give it's it's gonna take me girl no it's taken me a long time for the progress that I've made in this um but first I just want to give credit to Amber F the original concept creator for pan that palette she has panned the ABH subculture palette I know Monica Adriana I believe that's her Monica, Monica, Map Beauty. I don't know. I'll have her linked in the cards in the description box. Um, but I've seen Monica pan subculture. Um, Amber F has panned and recently finished her subculture. A lot of people have panned subculture in the past, and I I kind of want her to get out of my collection. I don't really support ABH any longer. Um, so I want to get this out. I eventually will want to tackle my Prism palette and then my Glow kit that I have. That is a project for another day, though. We are here to talk about my progress in subculture. <sighs> my grungy, beautiful dream of a palette here. And I I love this palette. I'm very happy that I'm continuing to use it and trying to get her to get out of my collection without just wasting the shadows. So I'm not going to stop rambling. Let's be real. So just to briefly tell you how I was panning this initially um in 2020 when I started panning my subculture palette my thought was to do three month updates or quarterly updates which would be three months use and that was really not making a lot of progress for me I would forget about this palette and using the shades and I kind of would focus on my pan those eyeshadows or my fantasy self shades or like any of the other projects I was doing last year and this was like the bottom of the barrel like I was like oh oops I need to use subculture huh. and I think it's because I was doing the updates so infrequently that I forgot and lost focus on this so this year we decided and when I say we I mean current and my past self have decided that we wanted to do a monthly updates for my subculture palette and that has helped me really exponentially streamline my progress in this palette and I'm very excited about that so my progress from the intro throughout 2020 is going to be three months of use at every update. And then everything from 2022 is going to be um, monthly updates. So you'll see that in the slideshow. It'll have like what update it was and then the month. So it'll be a little bit more easy to see. But I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put some very light lo-fi music on. And then you're going to see the progression shots of this palette. My subculture palette is today as of June 1st 2022 and I am freaking excited about it so I have made sizable progress in this palette I have crushed the goals that I set for myself to do throughout May 
and I want to talk about that clearly. Um, so I'm going to have some pictures go up over here. It'll have, oh gosh, it'll have the like update it was. There's like three pictures, like usually one up here, one here, and then one here, and it'll have the updates of what they are. So we're going to start going left to right, top to bottom. So like we're reading a book. There were three goals that I wanted to set out for myself in this palette. First goal was to use each of the remaining shades six times. Then I had to, I wanted to use up the bottom right, no, the bottom left corner of New Wave. And then I was hoping to use up the bottom right corner of Edge. So we'll talk about the goals when we get to each thing. Um, however, the first goal, use each shade six times. I nailed it. I did it. I was excited about it. Destiny, the first shade we're going to talk about was the one that I was struggling getting my six uses in, but I did do it. So I ended up using Destiny a total of six times this month. So I just, just met my usage goal on Destiny. Um, but I did end up using this paired a lot with the shade in my Natasha Denona purple blue, purple blue palette that is my project level up level three palette. I did pair Destiny a lot with that pink shade that I'm trying to hit pan on. And I really loved the looks that I was creating with it. It it was just so pretty. It, um, that color, that color combination was really, um, inspired by a friend over on Instagram, Kaylee Dixie. I will have her Instagram link down below in the description box so you can check her out. She's fantastic. She doesn't post as regularly anymore, but she's super, super kind, super sweet, and has like very interesting color combinations that I might not have paired myself. Um, so I was pairing Destiny with like a light baby pink quite often, and I really enjoyed the color like the looks that it was making. I have a lot of those like murky olivey greens in my pan, those eyeshadows. So Destiny went really well with those as well. Like today, I totally could have put some of like Destiny in this look, but I really wanted a more soft, like summer bronzy, orangey kind of look today. Um, so I didn't use Destiny, but I definitely could have in this look. Destiny is definitely the shade that is like the least used in this palette. Like I am looking at the tallies of this and Destiny has 57 uses in this project as a whole and like we we have like blown every other shade has like blown that out of the water by at least 20 to 30 uses over if not way more and we'll get to the one that's like we'll move over to the next shade which is all star all star is that beautiful burgundy shade i have really actually been wearing all-star quite often recently. I did not think I was like when I see all-star in the pan, I'm like, that is an autumn shade. If I ever saw one, that shade reminds me truly of like fallen leaves, drinking hot cocoa, hot apple cider, just like warm, delicious, rich, like cinnamon. Like it just reminds me of all of that kind of stuff. So I don't know why I'm reaching for it now, but I think it's because I've been wearing a lot of those pink looks using that Natasha Denona purple blue shade mixed with some of the pan those eyeshadow shades that I've been using. I have, like there's two moods my pan those eyeshadows has murky greens or pinks apparently. And this has just kind of been a nice way to kind of do two different looks using my subculture. So I have definitely I can tell the pan shape on my shade all star is getting a little bit more flat, just like how mercury was last month really flat in the pan. So there's like a little nub and a little nub at the bottom, but for the most part, it's pretty like split even in the pan. So I'm pretty proud that I've made some progress in it. It's not huge, but it is some. Mercury is the next shade, and this is definitely my most used shade in the palette. I use it in my eyebrows every time I do my makeup. It goes in my brows. Um, so I get a ton of usage out of it that way. And I made a lot of progress in this. Like I wasn't expecting it. Like when I was using it, I'm like, oh, it's going to be like some, but like really not a lot. And then today when I'm doing it, I'm like, holy crap, like it's like a big chunk. I'm almost to that side, like that corner pan again. Like I'm so excited about it. So Mercury this month, I used 22 times. The last month I used it 22 times, the time before that 17. So I'm really consistently getting that 20-ish mark with that shade every month. So I don't think I, I definitely feel like Mercury is probably going to be the next shade to completely be gone, which is actually quite exciting. So that is the top row all talked about. And now we have the bottom two shades, which 
I feel like probably have the most powder in them and I think I think it's because I like out of all of the matte shades that were left in these in this palette these two are my favorite shades so I want to savor them and I don't I really am trying to not do that like I have a problem where if I love something I'm like I don't want to use this because I love it so much which is so dumb <laughs> which is such a dumb thing for me like I really need to just wrap my head around using the products I am truly loving it's hard it's very hard for me though so we'll move on to new wave next and I'll stop yammering on so new wave that beautiful beautiful orange shade I had a I won I, I met my usage goal I used this eight times the past month um, including today I did use mercury and new wave the next two shades eight times um, and they're in my eye look today um, so new wave I have on the outer portion blended into like the eye look um, I had another goal for New Wave to clear out that bottom left hand portion of the corner pan and I did it and I was so excited. I wasn't, it was pretty early on and then I was like, cool, I met my goals on this. I'm going to set her away and I'm going to use other things. So New Wave, I hit my goal pretty quick and then I kind of just was like, pump the brakes on. So I was excited though for New Wave to have that corner pan hit. Um, New Wave definitely has a lot of product on that top portion of the pan, so it's going to take some really serious dedicated use to kind of clear a lot of that off, which I know and I'm a little nervous about, but it is okay. It'll be okay, Laura. It'll be okay. But I used um, New Wave eight times, a total of 81 times in this project. Um, again, really happy about the progress I'm making with it. Moving over to Edge, Edge I have in my eye look today as well. I actually have Edge all, I like bl blended and buffed it all over my mobile lid. I used another lighter yellow shade to blend out things. And then I tapped Natasha Denona Topper Shadow in Burnt Terracotta slash Green on top of it. That really, like this really encompasses a like subculture look in my opinion. It reminds me of the shade Electric that has been long gone since 2020. Um, that kind of reminds me of electric that topper shade so it's really inspired me to kind of use these shadows more however i do still find myself being like okay these are my favorites i want to hold them i want to savor them but i want her gone by the end of the year so laura i'm looking at you right now use the things you love just use them it's okay you can find another shade similar you can do it i believe in you but let me talk about some goals that i want to make in this palette oh and so um, edge I had a goal to finish off this corner and I didn't make that so clearly my June my one of my June goals I want to actually finish the corner of edge off that bottom right corner I can definitely do it I don't think it's going to take that many uses I think three or four uses and I can totally get that bottom corner cleared out so I want to do that I really want to try to clear the corner pan of that out and then I don't know where I'll want to like figure, like use the pan up after that. I don't know. So maybe if you want to tell me after I hit corner pan in this, would you rather see like a whole side or like the whole bottom gone? Let me know in the comments, please. Then the second goal I want to set for myself is I want to clear this top right corner in Mercury. I can totally do that. Like I thought I was going to be able to do it today and I couldn't. That's not going to take me that long. Once we hit corner, I'm just going to start moving my way down in the pan for Mercury. I think another goal I want to set for myself is in Destiny here. I want to hit corner pan on that top right corner as well. I think with Destiny, once I hit this corner over here, I'm going to migrate my way down and then do another, like I'm going to try to get half that pan used up. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to hit what my what I want to do is corner pan, corner pan, corner pan. I want to use every shadow. Do I still want to do six or do I want to do seven uses for each? I'm going to try to do six uses still just because um, Destiny I struggled with. So I'm going to do six uses, but I'm I want to try. I will try for seven. But if I do six, I'm going to be like, I'm totally fine with that. That is an acceptable number of uses for me for a month's time frame in these shades, but I do want to hit three corner pans by the next update. And that's 
a little nerve wracking, but also like kind of exciting because I'm like, I can, I can, I can totally do it. I know that I can do it and that'll help my usage in this palette immensely. Once I hit those corners, um, one, I think that <laughs> once I hit those corners, I think it'll be a little bit more slow going, which is a little bit nerve wracking. However, I think that I can totally do it within the month. And it'll make me inspired and like, I'll be like, oh my gosh, the end is in sight. I'm totally doing it. It's happening. I'm using her up. <laughs> but that is it for my Pan Matte Palette update for my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Again, this is what this beauty is looking like currently. Let me know which goal you think I'll hit first. Do you think I'll use each shade six times first? Do you think I will hit the corner pan in Destiny? mercury or edge first let me know in the comments below i would truly love to know what you think that my first goal hit will be i will make a note i will try to remember like which one i hit first that way i can report back like y'all were right or y'all i blew your expectations out of the water <laughs> but that is it thank you so much for watching my pan that palette update i am looking forward to retiring this ratchet little palette like <sighs> This is falling off the sticker. Like, look at how much more blue the underside of that sticker is. Like, can you? She has been through the ringer. She has seen it. She has done it. She is ready. She's ready to leave. She is ready. I am very, con I'm very, very sure she's ready to leave my collection as well. Um, and then we'll move on to another palette. I I was really not expecting myself to want to do another pan that palette. However, I'm kind of... I'm also still kind of inspired like with the whole like I if I can finish a whole palette like how amazing is that going to make me feel so that is it thank you again so much for watching I hope you guys are staying healthy sane and safe and I will catch you in my next video bye